Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a special episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And it's the first collection update of 2019. Let the madness begin. We're going to be blasting Dark Descent Records, Ritual Necromancy, Disinterred Horror. So fucking good. Seriously, some of the most sinister, crushing death metal of 2018. I have the LP as well, but I just felt like listening to the cassette. So fucking sick. I highly suggest going to snag this before the Dark Descent record sale's gone. And we have like 10 pounds worth of records to go through from Dark Descent. And also a gift to myself for my birthday from a Sentient Rune Laboratories. And this is actually my non-metal record of the year. And Death Crux with Mutant Flesh. Wow. Seriously fucking wow. Horror, punk, goth rock, whatever you want to call this type of stuff. If you're a fan of like Sisters of Mercy, Bajas, Killing Joke, and especially Beast Milk, oh yeah, you are going to love this. And it's a real weird like black, red, merge colored vinyl. It's definitely cool. It um, didn't turn out really the way that they um, kind of wanted it to. It's a lot more just black. But in certain light, you could see the red and stuff. Super, super sick stuff. I can't wait to spin this. Been listening to it so much digitally. Fuck yes. Death Crux and Mutant Flesh. And if you guys want to hear it for yourselves, thanks for watching. Here's a late Christmas present. Death Crux, Mutant Flesh on Sentient Rune Laboratories. Press pause and snag this. And next up, here's another um, one that comes with a download code. I'm going to give you Maniacs, but it's the new Val full length Magus. Wow. Double LP on Sacred Bones Records. Yep. Nice heavy duty download card. Again, press pause and snag that fucker. Hell yeah. And enjoy this. It's cap sensitive, so yeah. And I've been slacking on my Val collection. The only material I have is their split with um, Leech. So getting this is fucking sick. I can't wait to fucking spin this. Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork here as well. I'm not sure if the CD version's different or... I, I don't know, but I really dig this art and whatnot. I think they did different art for every one of their releases this year, and that's gnarly. But this double LP, it's another one I've listened to a couple times digitally, and it's just like, fuck yes. Thou, thy house primordial, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Fucking A. I really, really can't wait to throw this on. Seriously. Thou, so goddamn good. Heavy, heavy Baton Rouge. Well, depends on what record you're listening to, honestly. They put out one of the best grunge records in years. Leading up to this fucking beast. But next up is some Iron Bonehead releases that I talked to my mom, who's an English teacher. She couldn't really help me. I have terrible Spanish, but these Mexican black metalers are absolutely fucking insane. And this is Tex La Coplia, I think is how you pronounce it. And I have no fucking clue how to pronounce this record's name. And I'm not even going to try, but this is some awesome, awesome Mexican black metal. It has, like, some traditional Mexican, like, folk instruments, like, thrown into the fucking chaos. It's just an amazing release on Iron Bonehead. And I, another record I just can't wait to fucking throw on. Plain black vinyl, just sick. 
sick shit on Iron Bonehead. Grim fucking Mexican black metal. Can't wait to fucking spin this. Seriously, I really wish I could pronounce this title for you, but yeah. Total, total, just Mexican black metal through and through, and I just really, really can't wait to fucking spin this beast. And switch things up, I've been a fan of this band since they were a straight up death metal band with um, the horror, and then first time I saw them on tour was with Formulas of Death, and then with um, Children of the Night, and then leading up to um, Down Below, Tribulation from Sweden. Another one that just nails that Sisters of Mercy vibe so fucking well. I can't wait to hear what this sounds like on tape. Um, Century Media took care of the CD and LP, I think, while Flaga Records did the cassette version. Again, I can't wait to throw this on. Tribulation's badass. This was Decibel Magazine's album of the year, but I've been a fan of theirs, seriously, since the horror and... I can't wait to, you know, finally be able to dive into their new full-length record because I listened to a few tracks on it, and yeah, it just blew me the fuck away. Tribulation down below, hailing from Sweden. Awesome, awesome stuff here. And next up, they actually sent me the wrong record here, but it happens, but we have... Pavesh N with Knife Ritual and Dead Womb. This was supposed to be Temple of Bones, I think. And yeah, this is gonna be a gnarly one. Some of the rawest black metal I've ever fucking heard. Super, super sick shit. I was really looking forward to the full length, but this will make do. Kind of a bummer, but it happens. Awesome, awesome fucking art on the actual, you know, LP. Another Iron Bonehead release. And I don't know too much about this project, except for it's some of the gnarliest, rawest black metal there is. I heard this has something to do with Black Solis, but not 100% sure, but Paveshen, Knife Ritual, and Dead Womb on Iron Bonehead Productions. Raw as fuck black metal. Can't wait to throw that on. Next up, we have another Iron Bonehead release, but this is some pure black witchery worship. And this is Goatcraft with Angel Slaughter. Awesome Mark Riddick artwork. It's fucking beast. And you can tell even by the promo photos, these guys love, love, love Black Witchery. And Angel Slaughter is just a killer, killer, fucking bestial Black Death War release. I love that drawing of Satan as well. Great stuff. And it's cool seeing Mark Riddick draw stuff other than, you know, as usual. I, I really love his, like other styles of stuff and another vicious iron bonehead release here goat craft angel slaughter seriously total black witchery worship and there's even a black witchery cover of unholy vengeance of war and this is a mini lp sick shit and now on to some death metal first up Another Flaga Records release, and I'm so stoked to grab this. I'm a big Disastrous Murmur fan, and this is Skinning Beginning 1989-1991 demo comp. And we have some more Mark Riddick art. Killer, killer shit. And this is on white vinyl. And I love this band, and I can't wait to, you know, listen to these demos again. As soon as I heard this digitally, I just knew I needed to get a copy. And when I saw it for sale for like, I think it was either 8 or $12, I jumped right on that bad boy and I'm so fucking stoked to have this. 
alongside Raspidies and Red, because those are my, like, like, that's my favorite Disastrous Murmur record, but these demos are amazing as well. I visit them semi-frequently on YouTube, so it's kind of cool to, you know, actually have a copy of it physically on vinyl too. Fuck yeah. I'm sure the cassette of this sounds sick as well, but I wanted the LP. Fuck yeah. Next up, we have some MSUO stuff. Fuck yeah. The new Faceless Burial Multiversal Abattoir on MSUO. Hailing out of Australia, this is some of the most face-ripping, fucking gnarly death metal you're gonna hear. Oh, I can't wait to fucking throw this on. Another one that I've just been kind of just listening to a ton of digitally since it first um, made its, you know, announcement. I've just been following it, and I'm a big fan of grotesque miscreations, so... It's amazing to, you know, have another follow-up to that and know that maybe we'll have a full-length coming out, another full-length, in um, 2019. And this is Plain Black Vinyl, MSUO. Keeping it simple, keeping it fucking sick. I can't wait to spin this, like, seriously. Grind my fucking face in. But seriously, this is so vicious sounding, like, especially, like, I love Grotesque Miscreation, but, like, these, um, five tracks are just, just as gnarly, in my opinion, and I can't wait to dive into it on vinyl format, and amazing artwork by Xavier Irvine on the cover and whatnot. Awesome stuff on MSUO. And finally, one more MSUO release mixed with Sentient Rune. And this is something I thought I completely missed out on. And uh, that is Noosrot with the Creeping Unknown on MSUO and Sentient Rune Laboratories. Fuck yes. You have Adam Clemens on here. You have some members of Gate Creeper. This is just... Pure fucking filthy death metal gold. Seriously, if you have not heard Noose Rot yet, oh man, I'll put a link below. You got you guys are gonna eat this up if you have not heard it yet. The Creeping Unknown by Noose Rot. Fuck yes. So stoked to have this in my hands as well. Also plain black vinyl. Hell yeah. But Hopefully I can get my um, Church of Bones LP situated, but, you know, I'm not sure if I should play um, that LP or not, but we'll see, but what a gnarly fucking, you know, package and whatnot. It's just super, super sick, and I can't wait to throw this tribulation on and everything else. It's just crazy, but in case you didn't press pause... Snag these download codes. This is for the Death Crux Mutant Flesh LP. And this is for the new Thou full length. Magus. Fucking A. Grab this shit. And as always, thanks for watching. We are blasting Ritual ne Necromancy's Disinterred Horror on Dark Descent Records. You guys fucking rule. Thanks for sitting here watching me go through this. First big order of 2018, 2019, and uh, the Dark Descent sale goes on for a few more days, so jump on that shit. But yeah, thanks for watching as always. You guys are the fucking best. <laughs>